thank you to all the members we have on the channel right now. The Panda8104, Daniel Draycott, Terry Ann Thurston, Mark O'Connor, Debbie Anderson and Real Ben MC. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for supporting me, supporting the channel. Um, guys, if you want to join the channel, get your name on screen, get a shout out at the beginning of every, every video and also have your name on the wall of members in Isolation Craft. All you've got to do is click on that join button on the, on the YouTube channel, the homepage of the YouTube channel. There are now two uh, levels, member levels to choose from. There is Tonka level, which is £2.99 a month. That gets you exclusive member only access to the come upcoming very soon uh, Snake Doctor uh, community su uh, survival server, if you like. It's not a survival, but it's, it's part of our server, uh, the Skyblock server. Um, and also emojis in chat, in the YouTube chat. Some of the guys now that are watching on this premiere, we'll probably put them in the chat now so you can see them. Um, and uh, yeah, and also the other level is max level. And uh, that gets you all of the above, all of the Tonka level stuff and also exclusive member only perks on the survival server as well. Uh, the survival server, if you're watching this as a live premiere, will be going up, going live for the members to test. There is uh, this, these six members I've just said, those six guys are gonna be able to test. Um, as soon as this video goes live, uh, or as soon as, as soon as this video finishes or as a premiere, and if you're watching it on YouTube later, the server will be up. If you're a member, you can test. Um, if you wanna become a member, you'll get access to the test straight away as soon as you become a member. Um, all you have to do is join the Discord, link is in the description, uh, put your, if you become a member, put your, your Minecraft IGN in there, and we will add you to the whitelist. Um, yeah, simple as that. Two perks, it supports me, um, it's very appreciated, especially in this crazy time that we're all living in at the moment. Um, but yeah, let's crack on with the video. Hi guys, Snake Dotter here. Welcome back to Isolation Craft. This is episode six, if I remember rightly. Um, behind me on the wall of thanks is a new name, Dylan Westgarth. Thank you, Dylan, for your couple of suggestions about the inventory. Very much appreciated. I will try, endeavour to remember to use those going forward every time we go into the storage system. I'll try and remember, um, but thank you anyway. And if you want to get your name on there, leave some helpful hints. Um, and if I choose you, your name will be going on that wall of thanks. Let's crack on. Right, I've done quite a bit of off-camera work, um, only because I didn't really want to get it too boring in terms of grindy stuff. I've also built something which the members in my Discord have been told about, uh, so that won't be a surprise to those guys. But let's quickly, before we start, let's go through. We've got quite a lot of, um, of rewards to collect. I've built a Minecraft shield. Let's go quickly show you as I do it. So I've got the shield in here, the normal... Spell it right. The normal Minecraft shield, the one we've got or had on us, um, I've got. But this one here, the normal Minecraft shield I've now built to get the achievement there. So let's click click that reward. Done. Uh, we've got bandages. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you why I got bandages in a minute. But I got those. I'll explain why they've been gained now. Because they're a bit fiddly, but they came up in, in a thing. Colossal chest wall. That has been done. Uh, we're going to do that today as well. I'll show you that. I didn't notice it's at the end of the last episode, but the hammer we made, where we made our little tent out, outside, obviously that's a challenge, so that's been done, 50 coins there. We've also got gold, we had gold, but obviously I hadn't held it, I hadn't smelted it, or I hadn't held it in my hand, so I didn't get the reward for that, that's done. Diamond, we, we know we've got diamonds, again, wasn't didn't show up because I hadn't completed the gold branch, the diamond branch hadn't opened, same with diamond pickaxe, um, I've got a diamond pickaxe in my inventory, um, so that's been used, I think that's all of them for now. Also, remember, we have got all these other ones to go through. There is quite a lot. We've got one here, though. Look, Inferior Essence, collect. Again, I'll explain why that one's ticked up. But you can see there are so many, so many to go through. It's amazing. But we're going to sort of plough through one at a time, maybe. Diamond Armour, Enchantment Tables. These are the things I definitely want to get done very soon. Enchantment Table is one of the things on my hot list, if you like, of 10 items. We've got two left, Backpack. An enchantment table, but before we do that, um, let's let's get. I tell you what we'll do. Well, let's get the let's get the the colossal chest made, shall we? Because that's something we need to do. Um, I also, before we make the colossal chest, I need to make the interface. I think it's the interface. We've got the we've got the core. We need to make the interface, um, which is made from cobblestone and which I can do. I've used one of the the wall chest walls, but we don't need um, twenty five works if you're making. A three by three with that and the uh, and the the chest core. 
but one extra one um, is gets taken up with the interface, and I'll show you why I'm using an interface. If you don't use the interface, you just have it as a normal chest, but I want to plug it into our system. So I've made some more of these wires, these cables, um, and I'm going to connect it to our system. So if you don't know how these work, it's literally just, if you're making a 3x3, 4x4, 5x5, you just make it with a base, a solid base on the bottom. You put the interface, which is what I'm doing, which interfaces with uh, a storage system, or if it's not, if you're not doing a storage system, just doing it as a regular, a regular chest, that just goes down as one of those ones I've got that we put down already. But you put the interface in there. You then carry on with that with an open hole in the middle, nothing in the middle. I'm going to quickly jump up on top though, so I can get to this. And then uh, you place the rest as a solid line on the very, the very top, uh, leaving the solid, leaving the outside one here as the kind of. Oh wait, actually no, that's wrong. So that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Hang on. Let's do that differently. Put you up there, and then this one goes here. With a bit of luck, it turns into a massive whacking chest that does open. The lid opens, as you can see in the background there. Makes a much deeper noise, but you've got a huge chest now. And that's only a three by three one. Bong! Imagine how cool that would be if that was massive. We've got room for another one if you want to, but or we can expand our storage, whichever we want to do. But we have a ton, a ton of storage now. Um, now, also, that pipe work that's behind there, I've continued that way under our base, way under our base, and I'll show you where it now leads to, because um, I want to make something eventually. I can't make it yet, because I haven't got the, the item for it. I want to make a vacuum pop-up. Oh, I'll tell you what, it's night time. Let's go to sleep. Let's go to sleep right now. So a little snooze, and in the morning, I'll show you the new building that I've made, because because this is a very adventure heavy mod pack, I want to get on with the adventuring. We've done enough, we've done six or five, five and a half episodes now of a love frog. Oh, the noise, ah, oh, the little baby noise it makes. Choppy, chop, choppy, choppy, chop, choppy, choppy, chop, choppy, chop, choppy, chop, choppy, chop, chop, choppy, chop. Oh, bless. Um, as you can see, a lot more cows. I've got some uh, sugar cane here. Yes, yeah, I can hop over these. I can put the extra jump on my, on my armor. But yeah, a lot more cows. I've bred some. I've killed some. Um, the farm is looking fantastic. I've got a load of rustic plants now. Went out and found a load of rustic seeds, chili seeds, and tomato seeds. Um, and I've got those in a chest here, the ones I've already harvested. Uh, I'm not hungry at the moment, but they give you extra hearts when you eat them eventually. Hopefully, that's the plan. So that's really good. We've got some normal stuff here, wheat and stuff. These are great, but they don't seem to be growing. We've just got stems there. Not that's about. This little beauty here, I've got creative, um, and this I saw on another YouTuber's video, Chosen Architect, good YouTuber, check him out, lots of subs, um, yeah, he made a mob spawner, and uh, I thought I would make a mob spawner, there are lots of mobs in here, and I've been killing mobs, I'll show you my inventory in a minute, but I've got a lot, a lot of stuff in here, hello, what, I'll show how this works, but basically, these are dropping down. It's not, I'm not using water on this one, because it's too small for, uh, for water. As you can see here, I've got those pipes. This is a, this is a storage import cable. When I get a vacuum, um, a vacuum hopper, I'm going to plonk it here, and all these items that I break, these, these guys break, or when they die, sorry, and they, they, they die, they drop their stuff, their loot, it will get sucked into the hopper, and it will save me money, or just not collecting it all. Eventually, I want to automate this. And make it a, uh, a sort of automated. Hello. What is that? What happened there? Um, anyway, yes, lots of stuff. Stop, stop shooting me! Oh, it's one of those those um. Samwise's Samwise's atom. You, you're a lightning wraith. Lovely. That's probably what was shooting me. But as you can see, I've got a lot of stuff in my inventory. There's the bandages I was talking about. Um. We've got TNT, we've got a tool bag, we've got some loot boxes, which are really, really cool. Before we, before we open those, let me just go around the back. Um, I was, as you can see also, I've, I've completely sort of protected our area with, with, uh, with, with, with fences. I've gone up the back so it's actually protected properly, so no one in theory should be able to get in. But also, as you know, I can pop over, so it's handy. But I feel I've got some fans, which are these, these Dungeon Tactics fans, which are quite easy to make. They weren't, they weren't complicated. Let me show you fans. There's lots of different fans in the mod pack. I was going to build this one, but it's a bit fiddly with redstone repeaters. But this dungeon tactics one's much easier. This is just a block of redstone, which we've got loads of cobblestone and iron. Easy though. So I made I made five of those. 
and put some red uh, some um, leaves on the back and turn them on and they literally blow the mobs that are inside there it's a three high block starts there three high and um, so you can get endermen and stuff blows them down hello let me in blows them down and yeah i can i can kill them you sitting down sam like a good lad right let's kill these creepers let's pull the hole let's pull the hole Ooh, careful there he really blew up that would have been bad that would have uh, that would have put the cat amongst the pigeons if they'd blown up them, wouldn't they? Um, I'd like to get uh, fans on the side. Ooh, no. Fans on the side, perhaps, that actually... Um, I'm on fire. Well, I'm on fire. Uh, uh, yeah, but there, there we go. Oh, is this an ender? Uh, there? Not sure. But yeah, there's lots of mobs spawning. What are you? You're a... Oh, he's, he's, he's giving me, like, a thingy, isn't he? That's what he's doing. He's just withering me or something. Let's grab the loot that's here. Uh, but yeah, that's they, good. We've got lots of good mobs spawning. We've got a helmet there. What we've got here? An iron helmet with aqua affinity. That's cool. Let's tell you what. Let's let's open up some of these um these loot bags. So I'm just gonna head out of it just in case anything bad spawns out of them because I don't want that to happen. That'll be bad. Um, we've got a tool bag. What is in here? Is there anything in it? Or is it just a bag? We've got an iron axe. Nothing fancy. A book bag. I'm guessing we're just gonna get books out of that. We have an enchanted book with blast protection. Very very good. A magic bag two of those a pole potion bag and fire resistance that's cool and magic powder lovely because um as i say this now these mobs are giving off really good things we're going to get better loot hopefully soon and it means that we'll be able to go out even quicker an epic mega loot case throw it on the floor what have we got there the ground crusher are you oh look at the speed it's clumsy but we might be able to put that into our reforging station and get some cool stuff what else we've got here? A rare mega loot cake uh, case. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. The toothpick and the silencer. Wow. Okay. It's got two upgrades on it. Oh, it can have two. And it's got 1,439 um, durability. This has, so it's very similar to a diamond sword in terms of its, uh, its, its power. This is good. We get some good stuff from this. This is really this is what we wanted. You see, all I really need is decent armor. If we can get lucky and get some armor, maybe some of these mobs will drop armor. I don't know. Um, a diamond sword and a golden pickaxe. Uh, the heart spike, damage seven, um, attack speed, quality pokey. What else we got? It's uh, it's common. Weakens weakens enemy for one second on hit. That's not bad. We're getting some good stuff here. What's the other thing? The prickle. Um, Long, it's got long reach. Yeah. Well, this is. I can't argue with that. We've got anything else here that's bag wise? Frog's legs, ender pearls, that'd be handy. Oh, blaze powder. Now that is good. Um, we can make, I think we actually might be able to make the vacuum hopper. So let's look at the recipe. I didn't have any blaze powder, so I must have got that when I was killing the mobs. Um, hopper, eye of ender, obsidian. Hopper's just maybe the iron and chest. We can go and do that. Let's go and make ourselves a vacuum hopper. And then we can. Uh, quick, we can, we can drop that down. At least all the items that we kill the mobs will go into there. Um, and then when I kill them, that, that pipe book will take all the items straight into our storage, into our storage um, system, which will then be handy. It'll save me filling up my inventory with this. Because obviously we've got a lot of stuff. It'll be nice if I could actually maybe make some kind of storage system or just a separate chest maybe for, uh, just for, let's see if we can just get a chest for these tools and that that we've got, these weapons, because I think that's going to be handy. Just put that. There, let's put it on the floor for now, actually. Let's just put a double chest uh, down here by our bed. And this will be where we can put... Um, hopefully we don't get more members. All of members might have to move to over here, maybe, if uh, or spread over here, perhaps, or move over to this wall. I don't know. We'll have a think about it if we get more members. At the moment, we've only got the six, and the six of you are very, very much appreciated. So I'm, I'm very grateful for you guys. Uh, right, let's stick you back in there. Let's pick up this, this sword. And let's just put all of the tools, all the weapons that we get in here for now. Uh, because they are going to be useful. I'm just going to take them all and put them all in here. Weapons and armour I think will stick in. Um, that's a wooden axe. We'll just throw that in for now. Probably not. Actually, that's a bit rubbish, isn't it? We'll just throw that one away. But yeah, let's, we, we'll just keep them in there for now. Until we've worked out what we've got and what we haven't got. Then we can go through and pick up, pick our weapons depending on where we're going. I think that's going to be helpful. Enchanted books, we'll leave them in there. Let's just put all these away for now. Um, oh, what was that? Let me see what that was. And bread, samurai boots. If wearing three pieces provides one speed, that's quite cool. I don't need that at the moment though. Bandages we'll put away. Frog's legs, 
Ender Pearls, Fire Resistance, Gunpowder, and the Magic Powder. Don't know what the Magic Powder does, but I'm sure we will find out. Right, Vacuum. Vacuum. Vacuum Hopper. Let's see if we can make a Hopper straight off the bat. Yes, we can. Um, and then, I think one of the things Dylan said to me, actually, while well, I remember, Dylan Westcott, whose name I put on the thanks wall, wall of thanks, was that you don't have to put your items back into the storage system for it to use it when it's using craft it crafting recipes it takes it out of your inventory as well as the storage system so that's mm. handy to know oh i need to make an eye of ender don't i as well let's make one of you there you go so i've got blaze powder mm. uh, wrong one and then that oh i haven't got the obsidian have i have i got enough have i not got the obby yet uh have i not got enough obby? i've got no obsidian left right we're gonna need to do a quick bit of mining then let's go and find some obby actually i'll tell you what we'll do let's just take a bucket of water because um, bouquet, a bouquet of water. Bouquet, we've got low, we've got lava in our thing, have we? Yeah, that's annoying. Let's just make another bucket then quickly. Let's make a bucket. Let's go and get some water from our pitcher plant. Yeah, we got the lava, didn't we? Thank you. Hello. Thank you very much. Such a handy little tool. Right, let's go and find some, just a lava um, pool. I think that's going to be easier. Just press the button to get down to the bottom. Let's do that. Perfect. Let's press it again. What happened? Go. Right, where was our lava? Was there simple lava down here in our the lava pool? There was a lava pool, there you go. Then we can use our mattock or our vein miner on uh, on this, which will be handy. Right, there we go. Let's just pour the water over here and make some obby from this. Can I reach? Can I reach? Can I reach? Yes, I can. There we go. Pick up the water. Perfect, right. Let's make some obsidian from this it's going to take a little bit of time but not too much let's just use our oh hang on don't stand on it in case there's lava underneath that would be silly wouldn't it <laughs> that would be about right that would be the sort of thing i would do while we're doing this guys how have you been how is your isolation going on are you staying safe are you washing your hand there was lava there i'm glad i did that i don't think i would have died i don't think i would have stood in it so i would have been okay um right let's just let's just be safe and get up here Hopper, hopper, hopper. Oh, come on. Thank you. Right, let's grab you while we're here as well. So well, that's going to probably break, isn't it? And I haven't got any cobble. Let's not worry about it. We've got plenty. Yeah, I hope you guys are staying safe during this crazy time. And, um, yeah, we can we can all stay safe together during this isolation period and come out a bit better on the other side. I have been asked several times in either in my Discord or in comments, in the live premieres, um, that are you going to be continuing YouTube after isolation stops i do really want to um so yes that is the plan at the moment after we go to the top i do want to um i've kind of worked out my schedule now that i can um i can do a video in the morning first thing in the morning it's like nine o'clock now half eight nine o'clock when i'm speaking to you now um get that done uploaded and ready for the premiere um, i might not be able to do a premiere every time depends on how busy work is my normal day job if you don't know is a graphic design i've got my own graphic design and print company and um, that i've done for 20 odd years i've had that business for now but when did i have the business yeah 2001 i started my own business um yeah so i do intend to carry on doing this afterwards have a drink um yeah hopefully that is going to be something we can do i do want to because you know i enjoy it i didn't enjoy it for a while um i came sort of fell out of love with it because of the money because i wasn't getting paid but now because i've got my business doing well again hopefully after this all finishes um yeah i can keep doing it for fun and you guys will enjoy it hopefully and do it with me enjoy it stay with me hopefully during this after this period ends we will see right what was i doing vacuum hopper vacuum hopper do and boom and done a vacuum hopper right let's head let's chuck you in there and you in there let's head back over uh, it's night time again let's quickly snooze although i am safe inside the uh Inside our, our area, I guess, unless there's any flying mobs. But we'll sleep anyway. Right, let's head back out to our... Over to our thing. Plonk the vacuum hopper down. I've got to change... When you get these, you have to change the way that the vacuum hopper works. So you shift-click and plonk it down. There you go. But it's not connected, as you can see. If you right-click and then click on this chest, you get this little um, out item output, like you do on a lot of redstone stuff. Um, but you need to spin it round. I don't want to click the top. No, I want to spin it round, which is with this one. There you go. Hold down the control button and click on the bottom. And it gives me an output on the bottom now, which it's now, as you can see, is it going to connect? 
Are you going to connect? There we go, it's connected. So now, anything we hit, hit now, as you can see, it will normally go in there. Um, oh, that's one thing we need to do, actually. We need to output... We need to output... Um, we need to output XP, because we're getting XP from these mobs. And obviously, if I'm not killing them, the XP is going to go to waste. It's not going to go anywhere, is it? Um, let's try and get... How Can we make a drum? Is there an iron drum in this? There used to be... Yeah, these things. Stone drum. Um, iron drum. Let's make an iron drum. Cauldron. And then a weighted pressure plate. Weighted pressure plate. And then a drum. Boom. We've got enough iron. Yes, we do. So if I put this iron drum next to the thing, I'm going to need to break um, one slab. I think which might look a bit messy, but I can fix the messiness at a later date. And if I put that next to it... Maybe I put it on top actually. I wonder if it'll work on top. Yeah, let's try it on top actually. Let's just try let's try putting it there. And then right clicking right clicking this and put in the XP output on top. Like so. There you go, that's connected. That should still be connected, yes. Let's just see if this works. Is items I'm just going, oh, it will be coming to me at the moment when it's there, because obviously I'm... It's still coming to me, obviously, because of the whole reachy thing. But hopefully items are going into the hopper and being pulled out. I'm hoping that's... It's hard for me to... Why are they... Maybe the hopper's too far away. Perhaps I need to... Hang on then, let's break you. Let's break you. Did that go into my inventory? Has that gone down the hole? That's gone down the hole, hasn't it? Oh, I bet. I bet that's gone down the hole. More bandages, different type of bandages this time. Um, yeah, look, that's gone. I think that's gone down that that hole there, which is very annoying. Um, oh, didn't want to do that. Just broken the whole thing. Don't use mattock when mining, snake. You must remember not to use mattock. Um, my iron drum has... What are you? Um, you've got to be careful there when you do this. Obviously, if you go too near, the mobs can see you. Um, and you need to mine down. Here, I think. Now there is a bit of a cave under here, so I have to be careful. Where did the drum go? Oh, there, I got it back. There you go. That's good. Right. So let's let's go back up. Let's go back up. Oh no, don't want to do that. Hang on, I've got a jump thing. Click on the right there. There we go. So that's the that's the system going back towards. So you're right. I need to break. I need to bring this up again. This is going to be difficult without getting hit by the mobs. I'm burping. Hear that? Burp. Right, um, I've got to try and get another one of these. Let's get another one of these pipes. Do we have enough cables left to grab that? I think I've got to raise this up one level, otherwise the vacuum's not going to pick up stuff, I don't think. Um, where's the cables? Cable, yeah, I've got loads left. Look, I made far too many. Far too many. You get four of those other ones as well, the item collection ones. So I've got three of those left over. I might better use those for other things, perhaps another time. Right, am I going to lose you when I, when I collect? I don't know. Nope, I didn't. That's good. Perfect. Right. Plaster. Lovely. If I plonk you up there, and then I put you... Oh, where did my, did my item collector go? Oh, no. Yeah, I don't need that, do I? That just connects. Uh, there. And then I put the vacuum hopper right on top. I don't know if it resets or not, or whether... It probably does reset, doesn't it? Oh, hang on. I'm going to you so I can't see in there. Uh, right. Oh, what? Why is that? Why? Why, can I, why am I? Oh, I don't know. Why am I seeing all the? I don't want to. What? Oh, I, I don't want to have you there. Why are you? Why is that doing that there? I don't want to have any eye. Can I turn any eye off? Why are these in here? Are these things I've actually? Can I turn any eye off? want to turn it off for a moment because I don't need you in my way. Why is that? Oh no. Just to put you back down. Have I just lost that down there now? Honestly. Oh, it's staying down there. Can't be bothered. Can't be bothered to go and get it. Um, I want to... Oh, in the vacuum. Oh, it it out. There you go. Right. Well, that worked, obviously. Uh, the vacuum off was working now. But why can I not... I need to connect you. And I can't connect you while you're in here. Why am I getting that here? Why is that happening now? 
really weird. Why did I get? Why did that not happen? Before? Oh, I tell you what. Hang on. If I just do something that's got like one line of like I don't know. Um, not iron. What can I have? Fish. Fish maybe. There you go. Look, I can do it now. While fish are in the inventory, then I can get to it. It's a bit of pain, isn't it? But right, I need to spin you round and click you on the bottom. I'm thinking I've done right. I hope I've done right. And then drag around to the top and put the. Now to put the, the, button, the bucket on the, the thing on the side, maybe that's connected. There you go. Uh, and then output on the side. Oh no, that's not the output I need. Is it the wrong output? Wrong output. On the, side, the XP output on the side. Get rid of you. There you go. And then put the drum there. Need another um, like a thing that's maybe like a floating in the air. Um, and then yeah, and then I can click on you and click on you and click on you, not you. Um, there, there we go. That should, in theory, now. Hopefully that will connect. Maybe it has connected. I don't know. Um, let's just see if I if I swipe. Why are those items not being picked up? Oh, does it only work either or? Maybe it looks like that's either or. Perhaps that's because that's connected. Maybe you can't do the XP one. I don't know. It doesn't seem that those items aren't being those items aren't being collected because they go they can go if I put them in here. Look, they will be sucked out. I think should be sucked out into our system. Are you going into our system? Are you? Are you not going into our system? Maybe it's not working because of the the drain, perhaps. Okay, let's just try and get turn off the turn off that. Is that now going to start sucking? Go on, go into our system, please. Why is the thing not doing its thing? Surely it should be working. I don't know why that's why that's not working. I'll have to look at this. I'll have to look into why that's not perfectly. Um. Yeah, I don't know why the vacuum hopper's not doing its thing. Let's just pick it up a minute. Lost load of items down there. I'll go and get them in a second. Um, let's plonk you back again and just see if that's why that's why that's doing its thing. Right, you're back today. That's working now. Then I right click and I connect. Up there on the bottom. Done. Well, that's still it's doing its magical magical thing. That's good right now. We can kill something. I've got, oh fire! Hello. There we go. Right, things are going into the vacuum hopper now, but they're not going. They're not being sucked out. And I don't know why that is. I need to look into that. That's something I'll have to try and fix. Um, going forward, it has connected, and it's definitely a import cable. Maybe I need an export cable is there an export cable maybe i need an export cable export cable export items from the network into the attached attached inventory no well this one is surely import is what i would have thought i needed import import items from attached inventory into the network yeah so surely that's surely that's what should be happening some experience in there stored in there Hmm. It's going out into that. Surely that's connected as well. That's all connected. Maybe I've got a break of the line somewhere. Maybe one of these cables that I've plonked down has, has not has not worked. I don't know. I'm not sure. But while this is working, as you see, XP is going up. These are all happening. A nebulous heart from an end enderman drop. Lovely. We can see it is the principle's working. It's either going into my inventory or it's hitting into the into here. We've got a spell book from Electra Bob's Wizardry. This is good. Um any more mobs? Anyone? Another one? Zombie. But yeah, so it is working, but this obviously is gonna fill up soon. Healing salve. Lots of experience. Can I get the experience? I'm not sure. Um yeah, I don't know why that's not working. I'll have to have a look at that. I can't quite work that out. But what we've got, and I think really I can... I'm just going to take it all for now, because obviously it needs to go into the inventory. Um, and if it's not working straight away, I'm going to have to dig up all this ground. I've literally gone underground all the way. So I have to see if I've maybe missed... I've maybe I've missed a, uh, 
a, a thing somewhere. So if it's not going into a chest, then obviously it's not going to it's not going to sign to join up, is it? So that's the that's the problem. I don't know what these are. So if anyone knows, do tell. Magic protection two and tombstone soul bound. There is some funky things. I'm going to keep all of this because I also want to do my um, I want to do my uh, my enchantment table now. I know we can make one because we've got enough obsidian now. We've got enough stuff. So let's just quickly. I've got a book, so let's make an enchantment table. Um, and again, we'll build a place for this to go eventually. There we go, enchantment table. Let's find a little spot for it. Where can we put it? Um, nice, nice. We, could, let's, we could put it out here and expand like another room or something. Let's just go to sleep so we've got no night time to contend with while we're doing this. Holding my enchantment table while we sleep. And then we'll uh, we'll get this sorted quickly. But you can make the regular bookshelves. But this is called golden bookshelves in this now, which is something I want definitely want to look at. Let's put that here. I'll open up a little way. We'll just put the crafty the the uh, thing. Uh, how far can we go? Let's just have to do it uh, here. There we go. And then we will get some bookshelves now. We need to make normal bookshelves first. I think we just put gold with them, if I remember reading it rightly. Let's quickly do bookshelves. So I think we need six. I think we don't need more than six. I might not have enough books for six. Um, one, two, only two. Okay, we need some more books. We need some more books. Um, so let's get some more books. We've got some paper. Have some paper. That's a good look. Uh, let's get you. We have the paper we've got. Um, pain, but you know what's more. Sorry, cow. I didn't mean to punch you then. Nine, right? We can make some more that sugar cane. That's not how you make books. I've got my. I keep forgetting. I've got this in my inventory. I keep forgetting that. Um, nine. That makes us some more, but not quite enough. We need more books, don't we? So let's get more books. Uh, book and uh, wow, that made what? What? Why is not? Why are you not? I'm not doing that. There we go. Right, we've got. There we go. We've got enough still. We've got three. We've got enough for one more. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more, aren't we? Bookshelves and boom. But you'll get the gist. I'll show you what I'm doing, and then you'll get the gist. Let's just. Oh, hang on. Press the cross. That all goes back into your inventory. Another thing, Dylan told me. Thank you, Dylan. Um, gold. Need that in this one. Gold. How much gold have we got? We've got seven. Right. If I do this right, if I remember rightly, if I put these here. Yes, it makes magical wood. So they're not called golden bookshelves, they're called, called magical wood. But if I plonk them behind the, the the enchantment table like a normal like you would normally, I can now get much higher levels of enchant than before. Um, it'll be lovely if I could get more books. And I will before we use this, I'm going to fill up my oh by the way, I moved my um my my yeah, my home thing, so it's outside the house rather than inside. It was annoying me seeing it inside. Um, yeah, so if I get another row of those, um, next one, oh, wow, five frames a second. That was lovely. Um, I so need a PC, guys. I so need a PC. Ugh, the lag, the lag is real. Um, let's see if there's any, oh, well, I need some food is what I do need. Hang on, let's have a nom. Oh, I'll tell you what, look, we need, we need food. Let's go and get our lovely, um, Rustic foods, our chilies and our tomatoes. Let's grab some of them out. Let's have some chilies. One, two, three. I might have some. One, two, oops. One, two, three of those as well. I don't know how much, how much it gives us each one, but a couple. Oh, it gives you a bit of burn because chilies are hot. Um, tomati. A tomati, a tomati, a tomati. I can't get more, but I don't know how you get more. I don't know how you actually get more um, actual hearts. I don't know if you need to do something to get an extra heart. Oh, I broke a, I broke a bit of ground. Never mind. Um, right, let's quickly head over so we can find any more. Hang on, are there any all this can over here? By the sea. By the sea. Sugar cane by the sea. Right, I also need to get our glider made because that's, that's something we need to do. Right, I'm going to take, I'm going to cross off enchantment table because that's been done. We've got one more item left. Is there any 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 stuffs around? There's not. There's none. There's none. There's none. I could bone mill, I suppose. I could bone mill the. Can you bone mill sugar cane? Bone that if you can. Don't know if you can. Um, it's really quite lovely to show you this before episode end. But um, I don't think I'm going to be able to. Let's try and get some bones. I can never remember if you can bone mill. Um, 
you can bone mill them, let's just pop them back in the inventory. There we go. Uh, bone, bone mill. I've got some bones. Let's just quickly. Oh, no, let's just bone mill all of you up. There you go. 54 tons of this stuff. I don't remember if you can bone mill sugar cane. You can. There you go. Look. Right. We want to bone mill that, but I've done it. Go and bum bum, bum bum. Let's wait for these flowers because it's annoying. Although we could use these for our property craft, property craft um, portal. Eventually, we'll be going to the property craft realm when we get some more gear. There's lots of good loot in the property craft realm, so especially with this mod pack. So uh, yeah, that would be cool. How much have we got now? We've got ten. That's really not going to help us much, is it? Let's just bone mill again. One more, one more run of bone mill. It might give us, almost give us enough. I don't know. We'll see. Plant and to bone mill the ground, snake. Bone mill the ground. Um, there we go. There we go. Right. We've got, how much we've got now? We've got. We've got 22. That's probably not quite enough, but we'll see. Mm, might be enough. Not sure. Not sure. Let's chuck plants in there. Just chuck that in there. But never mind. Um, paper. Paper. Paper and boom and done. 27. That actually is. Handy. We might have enough there. Bookshelves. Oh no, books first. Books first. Um. Oh, really? Come on. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, there you go. Oh, we're one short. I've got to run out of leather. I've run out of leather. Well, I'm sorry, cows. Sorry, cows. One of you is going to have to pay the ultimate price. There you go. Lovely. Tar. Let that be a lesson to all of you. Um, right, and now we can make one more book. Boom, boom, boom. We can also make our glider soon as well, which is handy. Right, we've got nine, which is good. Bookshelves, boom, and three of you. Oh, really? Why doesn't it do it? Why doesn't it autofill? Why doesn't it autofill? Did I not make enough? wood as well now are you listen everything is just going against me isn't it everything's going against me can i put one no we can't do that because that would be too easy wouldn't it that would be too easy um there's one bit of oak there actually that's all right hang on then let's quickly do that get our oak wood get our oak wood and boom get more oak planks there we go go back in there in there please hello wakey wakey thank you very much boom another bookshelf we have enough now we get some gold. Let's shove all this back in here. Um, gold. And one, two, three. What do I do with the other bookshelf? Did I not make it? Did I? Oh, I did. That was weird. Okay, right. Here we go. Right, we can now do this. And then we're going to get some lapis. Should have got that before we... And this here gives us the equivalent of a full um, a full enchanted book thingy. All the books. You know the bookshelves you need to make normally. That's what it will give you. Let's get some lapis. And you're going to see something quite magical if you haven't seen this before. I haven't got any levels, have I? I've only got one level, but so I'm not going to do any. How can I... How can I oh, because I made the bookshelves take bookshelves take levels, don't they, when you um, you do them, which is a bit annoying. But can I... I've got one level, sharp plus one. Um, I'm not going to do it yet, but obviously what you do with this is you literally... You, you put this in here, and you have to kind of use it like Tetris to kind of make a pattern. And you can so you can only fill certain things in there um, to make. Oh, actually, I've done it. So shall I? Should we take it out? Shall we take it out, or should we not take it out? I don't know. I must remember on a Monday, I get my weekly report. That's that noise you just heard. It's very weird. Um, sharpness. Should we just take it out anyway? Yeah, just let's just do it. I don't know. There you go. Look, I've got a sharpness. A sharpness um, upgraded. I think maybe maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I haven't because it's. Because it's, um, I can't level, add levels, so I haven't got any levels there. But um, yeah, maybe I haven't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I can make some some um, glass bottles and take it out of the, out of here. There's quite a lot of, oh, did I leave my, no, I didn't in here. Um, did I, I don't know, I don't know if I got that or then. It's a bit annoying that that's not working. It worked a bit better. But did that go, that all went in there. It's not being sucked out. And it's a bit annoying why it's not. Just put a chicken in there then. Put <laughs> a chicken spawn in my in my thing. Hello? 
Anyone? There we go. So it's working as a, as a mob spawner. It's working like wonderfully, wonderfully well. There was a chicken. Um. Yeah, there we go, guys. Anyway, look, it's it's about that time. We've been doing for about 40 minutes, which isn't too bad. So I'm going to say mm -hmm. goodbye there. Um, thank you very, very much. Oh, look, Optifine. Have I got Optifine on? What's the Optifine? <gasps> Optifine's working! Yay! I did try and get it working to see if my frames would have worked. I wasn't sure it was working. But my cape's on, and I press C, and I can zoom in. Wicked. So I'm going to say goodbye with that very close-up view. Thank you so much for you, uh, for those of you that watched on the live, uh, on the live YouTube premiere. Um, if you want to do that, come along next time. I generally do them at 3 o'clock every time we do a video. The videos go up um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, four days a week at 3 p.m. live premiere. And I'll keep doing those for as long as I physically can. Um, so thank you for you guys that are watching the premiere. If you watch on YouTube straight away or at any point afterwards, thank you guys. Don't forget, if you're a member of my channel, as of now, head over to the, um, to the Discord. In the Discord, the IP address will be put in the members-only chat. Um, and you'll be able to join and have a go on the Snakes community server. If you want to join that, as I say, go on Discord or become a member, sorry, um, on the YouTube channel. And then um, you'll get your name and all the stuff that like we did said at the beginning. And then you can have a test of the server as well. So, um, yeah, thank you. For now, I've been Snake, and I'll see you soon for another episode of Isolation Craft. Bye.